the clown is a very tall creepy looking man in white face paint who made some small appearances as a side character in the amazing world of gumball and he was nothing more than that until it was later revealed in the gumball chronicles that he is actually some sort of supernatural stalker that whenever something scary or terrifying is happening in the town of elmore he is there watching from afar. But what exactly is he and why does he do this? That question is actually something that has caused a lot of commotion in the Amazing World of Gumball community, spawning a multitude of theories. Because even though it was revealed that Tobias was actually the clown dressed up to scare people for his YouTube channel in that same episode, there are multiple instances where we see the two characters in the same room showing they aren't the same person. Some say he's just a friend of Nicole's, Gumball and Darwin's mom, who asked him to just watch out for the boys. As he is seen handing them a letter from their mom to remind them to take the trash, while others believe he's Darwin's real dad. Both of these could well be true if we weren't already given the information as to why he appears. Remember, he's only there to look out for scary things. So him being there just to make sure the boys are okay or even his own son Darwin is doing all right wouldn't really make sense, especially when he sees them turn into zombies right in front of him. Real great parenting there, buddy. So it's really been a mystery as to who he is. But I recently watched this great YouTube video by Kuma the Theorist who talked about the clown and gave his own theory that the clown is not actually watching Gumball and Darwin, but he's watching the audience. The theory goes that he is actually looking at the audience, watching to see how we react to the events that are unfolding on screen. It's an interesting theory, but he doesn't really give a cohesive reason as to why he's there doing that just leaving it up to the unknown. But I think I could give a reason as to why he exists, and it plays into the idea that he is watching the audience like Kuma suggests. And there's another very important thing that Kuma mentions in his video that gives us some more insight onto the true nature of the clown. I remember when he was being the entertainer. In one of the episodes, he was torturing Alan's family. I guess that shows that he's really evil. The clown is truly evil. When you think about it, he's only there when bad things happen and is always present. But how does he know exactly where to be? How is he perfectly there at the right times? It's almost as if he knows what's going to happen, as if he's making sure everything is going according to plan. And he's no normal person. He has some godlike powers, or at least very high level supernatural ones because when these bad things are happening, he is just in the background unaffected by them. Like, isn't it weird he just sits right in the middle of a zombie outbreak and no one goes after him? Or how he can appear in pictures and in the reflections of light? Something we know about the town of Elmore is that the town itself is almost an omnipotent being. Something we learned in the episode, The Void. The world itself has the ability to get rid of boring characters and can even erase people's minds. I would go so far as to say it can even reset the world to how it was in the beginning of the episode. But why would it need to do that? Why would the world itself need to reset? Well, maybe it's due to beings like him. There's a line that stuck out to me in that Gumball Chronicle episode, where Tobias is dressed up and states that, Watch him. It was always the clown. There, those choice of words are very particular, almost as if he knows that the clown is behind everything. Well, what if, the clown has the ability to cause these insane things to happen. Think about when every bad thing happens in Elmore and it all goes back to normal in the next episode, resetting itself. Something we know is possible in the episode, the finale, where the water sins are falling apart and at the end, the episode resets. And going back to Kuma's theory, the reason he does this is to see what the audience thinks of it because he is one of the few characters that knows he's in a cartoon. And he enjoys creating these events and showing up like how an artist will put his signature on his work to say, hey, look, I did this. This, what do you think of it? And I believe this is all just a game to him, that he's some sort of omnipotent creature, kind of like how the world can do anything, so can he. And he's really only there to scare and play a part in the evil that happens in Elmore. Even his appearance is something that plays into this idea. Because the clown might not even be a clown. Think back to earlier in this video when I mentioned, because even though it was revealed that Tobias was actually the clown, are you telling me that this clown's face is just a model mask that everyone uses for Halloween? Or more likely, he too is wearing a costume. But why a clown? Well, when you think about it, one of the biggest fears kids and even adults have is a fear of clowns. And what better thing to embody pure evil than something that strikes fear and uneasiness into the souls of millions? I hope you guys enjoyed. This is just a working theory. There's a lot of loose ends that are still open that I didn't even touch on. Like, how does Tobias know so much information on the clown? What is the clown's relationship with Nicole? Maybe some things are just better left unknown. But if there's one thing that we know is true, is that whenever some scary event's happening, he's always watching.